Hey, everyone. Hello. Brandon, where are we uh, at and what are we finally doing? We are finally, finally, finally at Disney's Epcot Studios. It's not Epcot. It doesn't matter. We're at Epcot. And um, we are here for the first time for us at their 2023 Food and Wine Festival. Now, as we all know, Epcot is nothing. It's not even a park anymore. It's not a theme park. It's just a 24-7, 365 festival. But we are here to experience what they call food and wine. Yes. And international. The International food Epcot Food and Wine Festival. So That's it. We are excited to check things out this Very year. Much. Um, do we want to quickly maybe mention there are some big changes this year. Monorail. Oh, monorail going by. There it is. With special dietary needs because of the passports do not list gluten-free options anymore. Yeah. The, uh, but. I don't know what to say because. No, yes. it's actually positive. Okay. Okay. Yes, they do not list them here anymore, but the Disney Epcot Food and Wine Festival shops have helped us out and actually made it a lot easier, I think, because while they're not here, you can go on the My Disney Experience That's app. what we're looking down on now, yeah. everyone. And also on our website, I actually organized all of these so it's easier, so you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Hashtag sponsored by us. Sure. Um, so <laughs> we it sponsored lists, ourselves, everyone. It not only lists gluten-free options, but also the top nine common allergens. Awesome. So if you are allergic to fish and shellfish like Brandon or peanut and tree nut, any like of the- Brandon. What? I'm allergic to that too. Yeah, I That's said like said. Brandon. Yeah, yeah, but fish, I was being fun. Okay, well, I'm too hot right. to have humor right now. Too hot in the hot tub. <laughs> Leave a comment if you know what that's from. Oh anyway. my gosh. So we, you What's can double for? check all of the different things. Yeah, awesome. We do recommend, and we're going to do this today, to still let them know at the booth that you do have oh. an allergy because they Always. are still flagging that. Hashtag, be your own advocate. Be your own advocate. And also there are things like Brandon is allergic to chicken, turkey, and cabbage. And those are not listed under this. So we'll still have to ask a few questions and yeah. radio a chef. But I think this is a huge improvement to making awesome. it a lot easier. And also, again, just always double check because yep. festivals, as we have learned in the past, ingredients can change, supplies can change. So just double check just to take that extra step to Absolutely. make sure you are safe. Yep. So really quickly here, too. Mm -hmm. Let's, uh, we did you, this last, let's do it again. Still gonna let's talk about these sad, no pathetic stickers. little guides here. Okay. So no back in the day, they used to do stamps. That was awesome. That was awesome. They did away with that. I was okay with that because they went to stickers inside here. It probably made it easier on the cast members if they ran out of stamp stuff you know um if they went you know you know how you run out of stamp stuff it's so hot y'all we don't know words i don't know words the ink I, the ink it's called ink everyone um so anyway then they took the stickers out of here too see that no stickers disney hashtag bring back stickers at least you're not going to bring back the stamps bring back the stickers why are you cheaping out on us um bob Iger, don't cheap out on us bring back our stamps or our uh, our stickers anyway also really quickly uh we, we are seeing friends here today. Oh, yeah. We're meeting some friends. They may or may not join us in the video, so yep. we will see. They said um, they don't mind if we film, though. Yes, they don't yep. mind that we film, and they will decide yep. if they want to be in the video or yeah, not. So, so we might see, have guests. We will introduce them if they wish to be in a video, but we are yeah. still going to go in, get a lot done today. Um, this is a long intro at three and a half minutes. You ready, Sarah? It's hot. It's hot. And it's really we're going to go eat a lot of food. Yep. I'm excited. Let's go. Our first uh, kiosk is going to be the Flavors from Fire, introduced in 2017. Sarah's in line way over there. But first booth, let's get this done. All right, so our first booth is Flavors from Fire. Um, kind of a long wait, but it was everyone showed up at 11 a.m. like we did, so we are here early. Uh, and I got two items, Sarah got one. Sarah, what, first of all, let's start with the one I do know. Um, I got the uh, Impossible Burger. Oh, this correct? is great. This Impossible Slider is It's Brandon's always favorite. really good. And it is, um, they radioed a chef because. You're of allergic the to cabbage. Yeah. So let's have a bite. So everyone. we confirmed. 
So this is safe for Brandon's allergies, which we will list in the description of this video. Mm. Mm. He loves this. This is like one of your favorites. It still is. Already, first bite. Oh, it's super spicy. First of the festival. My mo is filled, but hashtag there it is. We're off to a, a great start. Um, yeah, Brandon will be very happy if he can eat this every single time. Highly, highly recommend the Impossible Burger. Yeah, and if you're gluten-free um, and dairy-free, you can get it without the bun, and then that's gonna be an option for you too. You yeah. just have to do a bunless. Um, so that could but, be an option. We've done that before. And yeah. then Brandon also got the oh, yeah. smoked corned beef, which he's had before. We did double check, that one was a, ooh, hopefully that's coming through. Like, it's so bright, I can't see. It's really bright out, everyone. But uh, that one, we had to double check to make sure there's no chicken and turkey in. So how do I eat this one, Sarah? Very carefully. Very, I'm just gonna take a bite like this. Yeah, you've had it's both of these before. It's not a there it is, before. but it's delicious. It's potatoes, it's cheese, yeah, it's beef. It's delicious. It makes Brandon happy. So, very, very good. I'm off to a good start, but let's let Sarah dig into hers because she got something good looking too. Okay, so the gluten free item at Flavors from Fire was the. Let's look at this. Let me double check. Chimichurri marinated steak taco. Yeah. So it's gluten free as is. If you are dairy free, um, you can remove the queso fresco. Our friend Gina came and double checked that. So that's going to be an option for you. I'm excited because I don't think I've eaten anything from Flavors from Fire in a while. In a while. At all. Yep. I don't know. This is going to be messy. Let's we're going to have to do some editing. Yeah, we're going to edit around this, everyone. Sarah's biting it. I got mostly avocado and corn, so I'm going to get some steak in here. Mmm. The steak is nice. Good grill flavor. It's got Brandon's dreaded corn in it. Yeah, I like, I love the pickled red onions in here. It's a good solid taco. It's great for, if you like tacos, it's a good hot weather kind of food. Awesome. Yeah, I would get that one again. Cool. All right. It's not going to be like a there it is, but it's yeah, it's a decent taco. Awesome. All right, so Sarah, what did I get? These uh, you got the, the plant-based chicken tenders that are like buffalo chicken style. Okay. And then it's got some vegan blue cheese on it, some okay. other vegan sauce. Everyone, I've become vegan okay. today, and it's been delicious so far. So um, it's also made in a dedicated fryer, so there's no issue with the chicken wings that are here gotcha. and gluten and that. And the muffins are going crazy behind yeah, you. Yeah, this is an awesome thing in here. Where are we at? What pavilion is this? We're at the Odyssey. The Odyssey. The Odyssey. It's does a everyone, fun theme. Does everyone remember 1968's 2001 Space Odyssey? One of the two best films of all time by Stanley Kubrick. Anyway. All right, so these are vegan, so I can have these, right? Yes, it's probably gonna uh, be spicy. All right, everyone, anytime chicken looks even vaguely real, I get scared of it. I mean, I used to love chicken. I still do love chicken, but I can't eat it anymore. I've been, um, had a horrible diagnosis, everyone, about three, four years ago. You've all followed on my journey. Um, hashtag journey lifestyle. So let's try a bite. And they're very messy. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, their pie's pretty oh. spicy. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> is this a no, Brandon? Listen, everybody, listen. Oh my god. Did we did we waste some money on those? <laughs> I'm gonna eat all the I, I literally have a tear. I have a tear. <laughs> don't put um, don't touch your eyes. I'm not, I probably shouldn't. I'll, I'll like, if actually you like spicy like chicken. food? I'll say this. Tastes like chicken. Really spicy. Um if you like spicy fake chicken, go for it. Um This is not gonna be a there it is. This is not a there it is. We're not hashtagging this one. Um, is this a one and done? This is a one and done, but it's still good. And but hold on, everybody, hold on. You like celery? I do like celery. <laughs> it's not spicy. <laughs> there we go. Celery is good. Actually, the chicken, the fake chicken, is good. It's just a little too it's spicy. Not, it's, a, it's very spicy, but it's good. If you want to introduce yourself, my name is Carlo. Carlo, yeah. And this is my wife Tierra. Tierra. 
and Carlos, and uh, we, Carlos and I used to work together. Yep. It was, we missed those days. I'll oh, just yeah. say that. I'll just well, leave definitely. it at that. We missed those days. <laughs> but Sarah was demanding a review. What, what, what he got the pickle shake. It's gluten free. Shake. Oh, this is gluten free. And, and he got the peanut butter uh, jelly chicken wings, which are also gluten free. Oh. Okay, and how is the pickle? It, it's actually minty. It's I, minty? It's really good. Minty fresh. I, yes, Ooh. it really is. It's minty. It doesn't even taste like pickles. Awesome. Interesting. <laughs> awesome. It has sweetness to it. Yeah, it has and, sweetness to it. And what's the uh, And that one I know is also gluten free too. Uh, everything. Look at this. Everyone. Wow. Look at this. Everyone. The, um, frozen fusion. The frozen fusion. Yeah, I believe it's gluten free and dairy free. Yeah. Okay, awesome. And it's actually good. Here we go. Here we go. She's trying it. She's trying it live on camera. <laughs> See, we're getting all the things. Can, it's like so thick. <laughs> <laughs> it's pomegranate and raspberry herbal tea and orange ice cream mm. molecules. Yeah, so it's a, it's a thick mixture. It sounds so. like that might be a spoon, kind of. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Really. Yeah. Okay, that's it's really sick. good. Let's go. Let's see. I like it. Tastes good. Awesome. Yeah, it tastes good. Yeah. Awesome. Is it? That tastes pretty good. So we're getting everybody's oh, reviews. Everyone's trying this. Here we go. Probably gotta scoop it because it's yeah. thick. Yeah. yeah. It tastes good though. It's like a slush or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which one is better, do you think? Yeah, the pickle fat or oh, really? The pickle. Is it just because it tastes kind of minty? The, for me, this one. I guess because right? really? the mint yeah. like mint in this one. Yeah, for me, That's why. That's what threw me off at first. I thought it was going to taste like, like pure pickle. But so, if you're a pickle person, if you don't think not. you're going to like it, it, you might like it. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Sure. Okay, so I got two of the gluten-free and dairy-free dishes here. So I got the orange cardamom wings and then the buffalo Brussels sprouts, which I feel like are going to be equally as spicy here Okay. Uh, compared to Brandon's chicken wings. But I'm going to give these a try. They look interesting. They smell kind of good. Hmm. It's a nice flavor. Okay. It's not... I wouldn't say anything too exciting. I do like the sort of citrus orange bit to it. I like these better than the garlic parmesan ones that I had last year okay. from here. If you like chicken wings, okay. you can't go wrong. I think Carlos just said that the, uh, the peanut butter oh. and jelly ones were really Pan good. Pan it back around. Oh, yeah. back around. <laughs> peanut butter and jelly is the greatest thing I've ever like, had in my life. It's so crazy. That one is good. So, okay. yeah, so these are good. Hashtag, there it is. That's what we call it. There it is. There it is. All right. All right. <laughs> So these are pretty good. I, I would get those again. Again, if you like chicken wings, it's probably yeah, not yeah, going to yeah. be my top pick. Very excited about the Brussels sprouts because I love Brussels sprouts. I'm scared about the spice level though. We'll edit around that, everyone. Just pour it out of her mouth. <laughs> oh, oh no. What's the, oh, spicy. Yeah. That buffalo sauce has got a kick. They said it was going to have a kick. It's got a kick. So I really love the flavor. Oh, there. Those are spicy. Awesome. Um, I like it. If awesome. spice is not your thing, I would probably skip these. But I think it's a really awesome kind of dish. It's got the vegan blue cheese on it, which is actually really, really good. And uh, the other sauce on here, I love how the Brussels sprouts have been cooked. They're crispy. I've got good flavor to them. But my mouth is going to be burning all by right. the time this is done. But it looks like all four of us got some at least decent stuff. Yeah, I would say the I would say the Odyssey, the brewing experience here is solid, especially yeah. if you like chicken wings and things yep. like that. I think it's pretty good. And most importantly, we're here with friends. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon, what just happened? All right, so check this out. I threw my trash away in this trash receptacle. He's like, it's it's making noises. Hold on. This is my lucky day. French fries. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop <laughs> that. I heard it was tsunami, not tsunami. Cool. That is awesome. Thank you. Everyone? Up, down, all around. Up, down, all around. Does everyone remember at Hollywood Studios where it says, don't pull the rope outside Indiana Jones? Pull that rope.
So as if I were, was not questioning my life choices for eating things like noodles at this point of the day, uh, we got a couple of different things. We went to the noodle down. exchange. So there's nothing like a festival then. Whoa, this oh, bee agrees. Oh, there's a bee. There's yeah. a bee. Every, oh, there's a bee on the noodles. On the noodles. We, we, we don't want honey right now. No. Uh, we might. This is very might, spicy. Yeah. So um, I got the um, gluten-free and dairy-free uh, Thai shrimp noodles, which those are going to be very spicy. Yes, they Again, are. we're making terrible choices today. With and it's 8,000 degrees out. Yes. And then we also went to the Mexico Pavilion. Over, over here. Got, which one are we starting on? We got um, a tostada go. with carnitas on it and we also got a braised beef taco so two yeah, these pavilions down mm -hmm. oh those are good and what are those carnitas okay it's pork pork's really good a little little on the salty side but i'm not gonna turn that down especially right now <laughs> let's see we'll try the braised beef taco the braised... again these are not marked on the allergy oh. menu gluten-free so you do have to ask at this particular booth. It's not operated by Disney, um, oh. so they were not on the allergy menus. But Mexico is always a safe. It's always a good yeah, safe. Pluto, hold on, Pluto. 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 Oh, sorry. Let's go back to Sarah, the star of the show. Pluto, Pluto is cooler way. than me. The braised beef is good. It's a little spicy. We're definitely hitting a lot of spicier things today. Okay. It's not my favorite. I would actually probably get the um, carnitas and then i would get the taco back from flavors of fire okay so this would probably be a, a skip for me next time but, but and next not bad something this i can't have for sure yeah again questioning my life choices of deciding to eat noodles right now also food and wine why are you doing noodles with food and wine why wouldn't they it's food it's so hot and there's wine there it is hot heat index 101 right now everyone noodles are rice noodles okay those are easy going the broth's got a kick to it. Okay. So, we are hitting a lot of spicy things today. I would get those again, just maybe not when it's like okay. 100 degrees with the yeah. heat index. And yeah. this is four uh, booths down. Our friends are room. looking at oh. us going, why y'all getting these? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't do it. It's way too hot. <laughs> <laughs> but quick review of Mexico. What did you guys oh, yeah, think yeah. of the Ooh. drinks you got Ooh. and then the food? Not a fan. No. Yeah. Which no? one did you oh, get? Oh, oh, hold on. This is the, um, what was it? Um, Paradise. To something margarita. The paradise paradise margarita. What's oh, okay. it called? Yeah. But not good. But not good. No. I don't like it. Oh, oh that's yeah. fair. Trouble in paradise. Yes. Yes. And yes. there's trouble it's in her paradise right now. I'll tell you that. What did you think of the carnitas? Or the yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. And what beer did you get? The Mexican beer. And it was good. Yes. Awesome. It is good. Looks refreshing. Oh yeah, very much so. And dehydrating. All right. Now I'm gonna dig into. More spicy food. More spicy food. All right, everyone. We've had a little mild emergency before I eat above us there. Can you pan up at all? Where There's are you a at? bird's nest right above us. There's a bird right there. He's not right happy there. with us. He's not well, happy she, with us. Or he they or are she. not happy with us. Um, yeah, we have. There, there may have been uh, may have been an accident on us. I'll, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> um, this is a uh, PG channel, so we'll leave it at that. But we may have had an accident on one or multiple of us. But I'm gonna dig in really quick here because um, we're so, showering anyway after yeah. this. Brianna so, got. Uh, what did I get, Sarah? The, from the noodle booth. The plant-based. You got the plant-based. Grabbing some napkins. Tofu ramen without bok choy. Plant-based tofu ramen without bok choy because I am allergic to cabbage and bok choy is a cabbage. Hashtag the more you know. All right, so. And everybody knows Brandon loves noodles almost as much as oh, well that as is potatoes. Really, oh, oh gosh. Spicy. Oh god, yeah. Is it good though? Pretty good. Better than the too spicy chicken. outside. Oh. Okay. Not as spicy as the chicken, but we were inside for the chicken. That's true. Would you get this again? No. No. Okay. Um, Brandon's striking out. It is good. No, that first booth we went to, flavor, uh, flavors fl of flavor, flav. Yeah, that was absolutely. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. <laughs> Hashtag flavor, flav. His, I, I called him TikTok because of his clock. But um, yeah, this is good. I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna recommend it. But that first booth, Flavors of From Fire, was still um, the best so far. All right, hopefully, well, you should be able to hear us. We have our yeah, mics, mics on. on. But um, oh, my Sarah and I crazy. are taking a little break. Yes, our friends are on Mission Space right now, and Brandon gets nauseous on Mission Space, and I've had too much food for Mission Space. Yeah, Sarah's okay on Mission Space, but she's had a lot of food. I have only in my entire life been on Mission Space two times, and both times I grabbed the throw-up bag. 
Um, I don't know. It is what it is. So I will most most likely never go on yeah. Mission Space again. But we're, right in here, wait, we're in the waiting or the yeah. uh, exit area. We uh, we got a little more water and everything. Yes, um, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Yeah. Always a good tip for the festival. Yeah, yeah, it is hot out. Also, I want to give a little update. The um, I didn't finish the noodles. You hated the noodles. First bite was First okay. Noodles, you hated. Yeah, I. Sorry. Um, second bite, I, they're very sour tasting. I guess I don't know if I'm describing that correctly, but I had maybe four bites total, and I uh, no one wanted them. No. So they got thrown. We hate yep. wasting money like that. Yeah, that was that's the only thing besides their margarita. Those are the only two things that we were all like, no. Yeah. Those are hard no's. So my noodles were good. I'm not sure I would get them all the time, especially because it's so hot out. Yeah. But the noodles were good. So far, Mexico and Flavors of Fire are the two okay. winners. Yeah, I love Flavors from flavors from Fire. Yeah, but we both said we need to come back here uh, oh, we're in coming a back. few weeks because there's so many things yeah, there's we're so missing. Many. Yeah, we're not even going to get around the world showcase today, everyone. Yeah, because we're going to do some attractions with our friends and yeah. then maybe grab one more booth, maybe the fries. Let's go! Yeah, let's go. We're getting let's those fries. Go. We're getting those <laughs> fries, everyone. Um, so, yeah, we will get the fries before we go home tonight. Um, of course, our friends are going to stay in the park, I think, into the evening and everything. Yeah. They're, they're local, but they're still not local local like we are, so they're yeah, visiting. Yeah, we're, we're so. trying to pace out the food. Yep. So anyway, we just want to give a brief update. They're on Mission Space in here right now, and uh, we're heading to uh, probably Spaceship Earth after that, but we are going to do one more booth that you guys will see. It, yeah, at least one, one more. Hey, everybody, thanks so much for sharing your day here with us today. All right, everyone, that's it. We are we're separating. We're wrapping we are. up today. <laughs> wrapping it up. Yeah. So where, where are you guys heading to? Germany. Germany. So they're going to continue on in the World Showcase uh, food booth? Yeah, they're, they're doing it right. They're doing it right. They're maybe doing it wrong. We will be back um, for round two. Yes. We were going to do the fry booth, the fry kiosk, the fry basket right here, and it's, uh, it's a disaster. So anyway, but thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone, just comment, tell them to come back. Carlos and Tierra, the there they are. Yeah, it's so, best. Truly the best. best. We are. Anyway. Hashtag the best. Hashtag. Sorry. And we're all out of frame. So we don't have the tripod right now, everyone. But anyway, that's it. We're saying goodbye to them. Stay tuned. Hashtag debrief. Yeah, we got to do our debrief. All right, so really quick. Sarah's in line at the fry basket. We ended up coming back over. Um, we'll talk more about it in a little bit, but our, our really good friend, he's a cast member here, Chef Tony, um, was at work today, so we stopped and talked. All right, so we are here at the Fry Basket. We ended up, I don't know how the sound's going to sound with Test Track going here, but we ended up pivoting. We saw our friend, the awesome Chef Tony, um, here, and so we ended up being here a little bit longer. We did because uh, I already did a little video about that, Sarah. You oh, were online. Yeah. So, well, so. spoiler alert, you already know the yeah. story. So, so what, what do we get, Sarah? We ended up going back to the fryer basket. We got um, the yucca fries. So um, these are all made in a dedicated fryer. They do have pickle fries here, which contain gluten, but they are made in their own fryer. They are, there's no cross contamination. So we ended up getting the fry flight, which is um, fries with a, it's malt vinegar. I'm going to say this in air quotes. It actually has, um, a malt powder, but it does not contain gluten. Okay. Um, we had this last year. I actually skipped them because I was scared, but they are actually gluten free. And okay. So that is an option. If you don't feel comfortable, I say skip it. We got the barbecue um, fries with uh, a smoked kind of smoky aioli and bacon. And then these were my favorite last year. These are the sweet potato casserole fries. These do contain nuts. So I can't have them. So Brandon can't have them, but these two are both gluten free and dairy free. Gluten Again, and dairy. Again, use your comfort if you do not feel comfortable with that one. And then we also got yucca fries, which are gluten free and dairy free. This is a dairy free aioli. And we really like these last year too. So they're really hot. So Sarah is jumping in. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Good. These are really good. Awesome. Mm. Oh. Salty, they're really hot. Um, they're not like hard or we had some yucca fries that were like kind of difficult to eat a while back, but these are actually very good. The aioli is great. Temperature's perfect. These are still a winner. I love those. And then I guess I'll give it a try. These oh, are probably gonna go. be Brandon ones, but I will try these. I didn't try them last year. Okay. 
These are awesome. I love fries oh. with like that kind of malt vinegar flavor. Oh. I'm gonna be honest though. I'm playing Brandon like Brandon is with the vegan, like the plant-based chicken. I don't know if I can actually eat these. Oh really? It makes me too like scared that there's like gluten in it, even though I know there isn't. Gotcha. No, it's that's too fair. reminiscent. That's fair. Okay. But they're really good. I love the kind of vinegar flavor. And then these last year we both did not love. We thought they were like overly seasoned and salty. I could eat a couple of these. Okay. I couldn't eat a ton of them. Gotcha. I think they are a heavy seasoning. Fair. Um, so I definitely, those would be my least favorite. And then these are like dessert, if I recall from last year. It has like a marshmallow Ooh, fluff on it. Yep. So good. We haven't had any dessert today. And this is like dessert. So favorite, second favorite. Oh, wait. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Favorite? Uh-huh. Second, second favorite. favorite. Third, fourth. Gotcha. All right. Can I dig into now? Yeah. I would say it's not the best thing ever, but pretty good. Awesome. All right. So my turn to dig in. Sarah, let me grab a napkin really quick here. Oh, hold on. Here you go. No, no cross-contamination yep, here go. because we should be good on everything. Um, it is loud. We are by test track. We do have our mics on. Hopefully they're working. Yeah. And um, Brandon is the true potato holder. So. so what should I try first, Sarah? Try those first. Those are really nice and hot. So those are fresher to me than the other fries. Mm. Yeah, they're good. Oh, wow. I love it's not the a, There it is, but they are really good. Yeah, those are the best. Okay. All right. All right, Sarah, so what now? As we, everyone called me b -ball. we call her Sarah Ball. Okay, well, try the fries. That made no sense. These are these. All right. The normal ones, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you liked these last oh. year, too. Yeah, okay, those are all yours. Oh, okay. Those are all Brandon. There it is. Oh, no. Those are, those are really good. Um, maybe a little too much salt, but not enough to ruin it. Really good. So, you want to try the. Talk with my mouth full, everyone, because that's a polite thing to do. Especially um, when you have potatoes. Yep. So, everyone should see the potato no matter what condition they're in. Oh, um, no. But that's well, how much Brandon loves them. What next, Sarah? Those. And what are these? The barbecue. Small uh, barbecue. Let me fries. grab this one. Oh, got a long one here. Get the bacon. Those I can eat a couple of, not a lot. Oh. Yeah, it's a little over seasoned. A little. And for our, for I think for us. For and, us. Yeah, it's a little. It's over seasoned. Much. We're gonna eat more of them, but um, and I can't have the last ones, correct? Yeah, the last ones you can't have. We're gonna enjoy the rest. Solid. Of them. Yeah. So um, we're gonna enjoy these fries. You can fries amazing. Other fries, ama really good booth. What is it called? The fry basket. Fry basket. And when we say fry, we don't need, we don't mean fry from Futurama, everyone. But they have brought Futurama back again very recently. So that's tag, that's, that's hashtag. That's awesome. Hashtag Futurama. Now, uh, Futurama, if you'd like to uh, sponsor our video, I'm just kidding. No, these are delicious. We're gonna eat. Next time you see us, we'll be at our probably a very lengthy, correct, Sarah, a debrief. So uh, good end of the day, and we'll eat this and get out of here. Okay, everyone, it's hashtag debrief time. Sarah, I'm gonna say something and then we'll get going. I'm gonna oh, no. say this. This might be a slightly lengthy debrief, so if you've made it this far in the video, you might wanna pause and come back. We don't know, well, we don't know how long it's gonna be. Oh no, I hope it's not a super long debrief because every part of me is sweaty. <laughs> we, are go home. <laughs> we are disgusting right now, everyone, but no, seriously. Um, first of all, huge shout out to our friends, Carlos and Tierra, Yay, for joining us. It was awesome us. to have them. It was awesome to have them here. They were happening, happen. They were happening to come on the same day we were here. Yep. Great to see them celebrating their anniversary. Yeah. So that was please, awesome. everyone, leave a comment below, wishing them both uh, again, Tiara and Carlos, a happy anniversary. Yeah, it was awesome um, to get to spend was, time with them. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed seeing them for a brief bit. A lot of people, when we vlog, when people are around, we always ask if people care first of all, or if yeah, they mind. Yeah, we don't doing. always vlog when we have friends no. and stuff around too. Um, but. They absolutely said go ahead and do it, and they wanted to be in it. Yeah, so, which is fun. It's which always is fun. always fun. So you too, if you ever see us, want to be in a video, we are probably, I would assume, the most popular and famous local vloggers for Disney World. Um, I'm holding to it, everyone. But no, seriously, 
Um, it was great to have him out here. Yeah. Great to go to Food and Wine. And in saying that, it is now Sarah's time to take over. Well, I think today we got in a lot more than we expected to. Yeah, which five. was great. Five booths? We did five booths. Um, we went to Flavors from Fire. We went to the Fry Basket. We went to all in a row here, too. The Brewing Lab at the Odyssey. We went to the Noodle Exchange. And we went to Mexico. Yeah. We got a lot in. We, and we went on attractions with our friends. We sure did. We, did, we didn't vlog that, of course. No reason to. But Nemo, Spaceship Earth, some other stuff. Yeah. So anyway, Sarah, what did you think of our first adventure to the 2023 Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. Wow, it's a mouthful. It um, is. Well, Hashtag I will say that. overall, one of the things that I'm very excited about this year was that the chefs did have the allergy-friendly menu. So it's not just gluten, it's not just vegan or vegetarian. We could also see things that were dairy-free, peanut tree nut free. So it really helps us out a lot. Very true. Just to know, okay, ahead of time, this is going to be a good option, this isn't. And then if there were things that also needed to be checked with bread and special dietary needs, um, that made it so much easier and so much less, I guess, stressful overall. So kudos, Disney. Keep that up. I am so glad that they have the allergy menus because that is really a huge help. And then means I don't have to call every single time <laughs> and be like, is there is this dairy-free? I know it is. And then yep. I just do, do the double check yep. confirm for the allergy. Always do the double check. Yeah. Hashtag be your own advocate yeah. we i mean you can have other people advocate for you too we advocate for each other but ultimately be your own, be your own advocate yeah so um and if anything i've learned from sarah since we've been together for uh, a long time now long time um she is definitely her own advocate she's my advocate and to be blunt and you are she's mine. your advocate well we're everybody's doing this together it is our when i say our i don't mean me and sarah it's all of our allergy community or food intolerance community yeah and i'll also say too i'll put in some notes um our friend Sorry. gina did a great job of finding out some additional items that are here at the festival that could have simple modifications that weren't included on the allergy menu so oh. i'll include some of those so things. gina posted that where instagram yeah, she has or... a great uh, pdf on her website oh so you can check gina. that out yeah well, we'll, which is super awesome we'll tag it below or here somewhere so click on that link to go to gina's what is a guide you said? Yeah, she's got a PDF of all the things. So awesome. Teamwork makes the dream work. Hashtag teamwork makes the dream. Work. Yeah, so that's an exciting thing. And then I guess the other thing from today is that we did let people know when we were at Boost that we do have a special dietary need. They did have to call and double check to confirm to make sure that the allergies were correct. Again, just to make double check everything. And then the one thing that we did notice this time, and your mileage might vary, it just might have been our experience today. Um, we were told, I actually asked at the noodle exchange, they were saying, because mine, I got the shrimp and it didn't require a modification. Whereas Brandon required a modification to have the cabbage. And any dish we got that had a modification, they put an allergy pick in. And if it was fine as is, we didn't get an allergy pick. So, oh, that the mileage so, could vary. Which explains the allergy yeah. pick inside the Impossible Burger Correct. because they took off the slaw. Yeah, so just something to know about. Cool. Um, and even like the one cast member was like, yeah. This one is safe as is. You don't have to put the allergy pick in, but this one has a modification, so we have to put the allergy pick in. Gotcha. So it could just be something that we were experiencing today. It could be something new this year, um, but cool. yeah, it was kind of interesting. Awesome. So uh, like we always do, we do this every year, every, every time we visit. Even if we don't vlog, we do it with each other. Sarah, favorite item? Favorite? Okay. Well, I guess I'll pick my, my top one. Probably the tostada with carnitas from the Mexico Pavilion. That okay. was super good. My second thing would be the yuca fries. And then Those good. maybe the third thing is the other taco from Flavors from Fire, because I really like okay. that too. What about uh, you? I like the Impossible Burger again, as I do every year. However, second to that would be the same thing from the Flavors of Love um, booth. <laughs> Flavors of Fire. Or oh, you're bringing back Flavor Flav because you had that reality show, um, Flavor of Love. I guess so. I don't know. I, everyone, <laughs> it's 105 degree heat index right now. Crazy. We're dying out here. But um, Flavors from Fire, I, what was this other item I got there? It was you really got the, good. You got the potato chips with the corned beef okay. or the beef brisket or something. Yeah, corned beef with house made potato chips, cheese curds, pickled onions, and beer cheese. Delicious. Onion. Least favorite, Sarah. Mine, I'm just going to throw mine out there, my noodles. Oh, I thought you were going to say the plant-based chicken, but you liked the no. chicken itself. You just didn't like the, the Yeah, sauce. it was too, it was too much uh, 
heat on the back end, as <laughs> as we'll say. Um, um, no, seriously, my least favorite was the noodles. I, I didn't want to finish them. Had I had the had the fake chicken been all I got today, I would have eaten all four of them. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. So. My least favorite thing was the smoky barbecue fries from the fry basket. Just too much seasoning for my own personal taste. It's just too much. Both there was a lot. Neither one of us, we couldn't finish them. They no. were just too much seasoning so for us. So much. I like the Disney. flavor. It's just too much seasoning. And then my Way sort too much. of... There's no doubt about that. I guess it's not a not favorite, but I would next time if we got the Brussels sprouts, which I loved them. I loved the vegan blue cheese. I loved the sauce on it. I would just ask for maybe like... A little bit of buffalo sauce. It was okay. a little too spicy for me. Awesome. A little too much on the back end. Okay. A little too much on the back end. Anyway, and saying that, Sarah, this is not as long as I thought it was going to be. Um, we are going to go to the car. We're going to head home and shower. And Sarah's right. Looking in this direction, which maybe we'll get some B-roll footage. Rain. She knows. It might rain. Our app said it might rain. It may or may not. Um, but Sarah, overall, good experience. It's a good start to the festival. I definitely want to come back to try a lot more dishes. So we are hoping to be back, especially with the new booths that are gonna be opening up a little bit later. So stay tuned for that. I would say if you have questions, let us know. Again, we do eat at the festival, so special dietary needs. You're always gonna to wanna to use your own comfort and judgment. If it's always. something you don't feel comfortable with, we don't recommend, you know, there's tons of restaurants yeah. and other options here at the parks, which are just as good. Yeah. Um, and there's plenty of non-food things that you can enjoy at the festival too. But exactly. I think with a little bit of sort of research and checking ahead, um, you can eat here safely with some good information. Always. So hopefully we shared a little bit of that. I, I hope we did. If we uh, didn't answer something you wanted, just leave a comment mm -hmm. below. Um, but with that, thank you, thank you, thank you to our patrons on Patreon. You guys are awesome. Thank you to everyone who's recently bought us a potato. We'll link that below too. Not kidding, buy us a potato. Um, thank you to our subscribers. Thank you to our commenters, our thumbs upperers, our ring the bellers. Um, thank you to everyone yeah. in this growing community because like a grand and miraculous spaceship this is a grand and miraculous community sorry everyone i'm punchy right now oh boy we're I'm, so hot we are but so hot very quickly yeah if go you ahead have things you want to see us to cover yeah. next time let us know and again questions otherwise yeah. that's it we're gonna go home and cool we're off. home and cool off we'll see you soon bye, bye.